boys and girls? It is the creator of Board with Miss Reynolds, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today happens to be neon day at camp, and it happens to be the day when I am packing up and cleaning out and getting ready for a new school year. So I wanted to read this book for you. Too Many Toys. And it kind of speaks volumes to what's going on here. But there's never too many toys. So, let's do this. Oh yeah. Sometimes books fall. It happens. Alright, let's do this. Too many toys. On Neon Day. Too many toys. And this is by Heidi Deedman. When Lulu was a baby, she was given a very special one and only toy. A lovely fluffy teddy bear. Lulu named him Jupiter and she loved him very, very much. She was given more toys to play with, and more toys, and more toys. But no matter how many toys she got, Jupiter was always her favorite. When Lulu was five years old, she had a birthday party. There were balloons and cake and lots of games. There were also lots of presents, which meant lots more toys. It was getting harder and harder to find room for all of Lulu's toys. Her shelves were full. Her toy box wouldn't close. Breakfast time was messy. TV time was noisy, playtime was rowdy, and bath time was splishy splashy, and then it was Christmas. Uh-oh, but not everyone was so excited. Lulu just had too many toys. What are we going to do, Jupiter? asked Lulu. I can't play with everybody. She thought hard. She made up her mind. Lulu had a plan. She put all her toys together in a great big enormous pile. Have you ever seen so many toys? 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 all in one big enormous pile? The great toy giveaway. All her friends came from far and wide and Lulu gave away. A big soft dog, a wagon with a dog, a pig and a teddy girl in it a walking, talking robot, a doll that said mama, two more dolls, even more dolls, three soldiers and their horse, a musical monkey, a family of dogs, a lion with a curly mane, her dollhouse and all its furniture, a sort of gunk, a striped cat, a box of cars, a big kite, and lots more until all the toys were gone.
wait, all the toys? Did Lulu keep anything at all? Of course she did. She kept Jupiter, her one and only. He was much too special to give away. Jupiter, you are all I need, said Lulu. Still, there might be a tiny bit of space for just a few more toys next Christmas. Uh-oh. And that is the end of Too, more, too Much Toys. Boys and girls, I got this book from my local library. It was It's a borrowed book, which I love to do. But guess what? I do not own the rights to any of these books that I have read to you on Neon Day but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is, there's nothing but toys in here. I'm gonna be putting them in our cabinet and getting ready for school for extended day, which starts in a couple of weeks. But I wanted to share this book with you and to say to you, there's always gonna be that one special toy that you love, love, love. And there's always gonna be children out there that don't have any toys to play, to play with. So maybe what you could do is kinda like what Lulu did have a toy giveaway and give to someone who needs a toy. Also, Miss Reynolds gets lots of toys from her little friends that I use right here at board. Check out this one. This was given to me for, from a friend. This is one of my favorite. This is actually a pillow pet that opens into a pillow. That's one of my favorite toys. You can love it, mm -hmm. and you can rest on it, mm -hmm. and you can just hold it and hug it and feel so secure. I'll see you again really, really soon, but for now, I have to get ready for too many toys. Bye. Mwah. to do so much to do boys and girls are you gonna help me are you gonna help me with all these toys how many do we have we have one This one, you always have room for a ball. <laughs>